Okay, dear students, how are you? Actually, here I have to inform you that my team has introduced a comprehensive program for the preparation of general studies, and this program would involve three stages in preparation. About this program, I'll just discuss with you in details in one of my lectures. So today, that is not the topic of discussion with you people. Today, I have to inform you. I have just brought a program for you people because once I have an, made a, an announcement about my three stage program. So some of my students have raised the question, "Ki sir, you are just making a comprehensive preparation for the three stage program, and that will really definitely a game changer or paradigm shifter for us." But what about in the middle course? Because the prelims. the sort of prelims is just looming large on the head and the prelims is a very challenging exam for we people so how can we tackle the prelims so is your team is not giving any helping hand in this direction so that's why i have conceived a new program that is called sampurna pt about this sampurna pt program i will give you the detail information or informations in details on 7th of february 7th of february 2024 but my students till i have to discuss certain points with you people one important thing is that one important thing is that you people should know what relationship i have had with prelims examination since the last 1993 here you people should be informed that your present syllabus of prelims so that commenced from 2011 matlab aapka jo prelims ka jo vartman syllabus hai wo 2011 mein introduce kiya gaya tha prelims ka mains ka 2013 mein but earlier than that optional used to be the part of a prelims program rather you can say ki optional used to play a very decisive role very decisive role you can say because one question in optional paper involved Two and half marks, and the same question in GS paper one marks. So optional paper, the total weightage of optional paper was three hundred marks, and total general studies paper hundred fifty questions, so hundred fifty marks. So in this way, the definitely optional played a very significant role. So at that time, I used to teach optional in prelims, and history was the most popular subject in prelims at that time. So in 1993 to 2000, you know, 10 up to 2010, I have continuously prepared the thousands and thousands of students. Even if I am just going to uh, use the term lakhs, so that will not be an exaggeration, my students. But in this beach, I have taught thousands and thousands of children. And I will tell you that basically, the prelims were like a chronic disease. 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 The prelims Uh, up now they are the senior bureaucrats so they will definitely brief this this story to you people matlab aap agar apne kuch senior jo aapke district mein bhi jo already officers honge to usme se mere kuch mere students honge wo aapko batayenge to actually i just want to utilize and apply the same experience in the gs prelims part as well my team will work but it is not uh you can say the in optional paper that was my single hand effort here the difference is ki it, it is a team work but i will definitely work as the main guideline in the whole affair you can say in the whole program to hai ki isme to team work karegi lekin main main guideline ki bhumika ya role mein rahunga taki students ko prelims mein koi pareshani na ho but my students i have to share something with you people normally you can say ki you are just appearing so many test examination that is called test series test series has been the you can say very popular mode of preparation today 
बट डिफिकल्टी इज दैट कि वेन एवर यू आर ज्वाइनिंग सम टेस्ट सीरीज एंड यू आर जस्ट वर्किंग इन टेस्ट सीरीज सो हेट देर वॉज वन प्रॉब्लम कि नॉर्मली द नेचर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन यू फाइन इन यू पी एस सी एग्जामिनेशन एंड द टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन नॉर्मली यू फाइन इन टेस्ट सीरीज सो देर इज डिफरेंस इन द नेचर इन यू पी एस सी इज हैविंग द वेरी यू पी एस सी यू कैन से टीम इज हैविंग स्पेशलिटी इन दिस रिगार्ड वॉट इज द स्पेशलिटी तो वेन एवर द यू पी एस सी टीम इज फॉर्मिंग अ क्वेश्चन सो दे आर जस्ट बाइंडिंग यू फ्रॉम थ्री साइड्स यू शुड नॉट ब्रेक द माइंड बट दे कॉन्शसली केप्ट यू केप्ट द फोर्थ साइड ओपन if you if, if you are having some sort of understanding so on the basis of understanding and while utilizing the intellectual gaze you can break the bind break the bounds and select the right choice matlab wo aapko char teen taraf se to ghera dal dete hain lekin jo chautha side hai usko khula rakhte hain ki aap us bound ko break kar sako और करेक्ट आंसर तक पहुंच सको बट नॉर्मल इन द कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट यू नो सॉरी नॉर्मल इन टेस्ट सीरीज यू विल फाइंड द क्वेश्चन एंड दैट इज क्रिएटिंग सम सॉर्ट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज आइदर द क्वेश्चन इज टू मच डिफिकल्ट या टू मच इजी आइदर यू विल सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन और यू कैन नॉट सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन इन यूपीएससी नॉर्मली टेन टू फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन पर्टिकुलरली फिफ्टीन सेवनटीन क्वेश्चन दिस डेज दे आर सो डिफिकल्ट एंड चैलेंजिंग कि दे विल क्रिएट अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम फॉर यू पीपल मीन्स की इट इज प्रैक्टिकली यू कैन से नॉट पॉसिबल टू सॉल्व दो क्वेश्चन एंड इन द एरिया ऑफ माइनस मार्किंग यू कैन नॉट टेक द रिस्क इन सच क्वेश्चन एंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन वे आर सच इन नेचर यू कैन इजिली सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन सो आफ्टर ऑब्जर्विंग द क्वेश्चन नॉर्मली द स्टूडेंट्स बिकम हैप्पी इन द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन यू कैन से you can solve the questions and simultaneously you cannot solve the questions it depend upon your understanding if you are selecting b you are correct if your first response is c that is wrong and there is no way out to ek topper ne isko bahut acche dhang se brief kiya tha my students i have to share with you usne kaha tha ki aaj ka prelims examination aisa hai jisme aap 25% questions jante ho 25 क्वेश्चन परसेंट क्वेश्चन नहीं जानते हो और 50 परसेंट क्वेश्चन आप जानते भी और नहीं जानते हो कि टुडे द प्रीलिम्स एग्जाम बिकेम सो हैज बिकम सो चैलेंजिंग कि 25 परसेंट क्वेश्चन यू नो 25 परसेंट यू कैन से क्वेश्चन यू कैन नॉट सॉल्व एंड फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द 50 परसेंट क्वेश्चन यू आर इन पोजिशन ऑफ सॉल्विंग एंड नॉन सॉल्विंग मीन्स यू कैन सॉल्व देम यू कैन नॉट सॉल्व देम इट डिपेंड्स ऑपन यू बिकॉज दे आर यू on the basis of intellectual gaze here i am giving you some concrete example what is intellectual gaze ab suppose observe this question here this question you can make a claim ki either from the side of history or the side of polity whatever you like but as this question belongs to the indian council bill of 1919 so i am giving more weightage in history so it should be the part of the questions of history ab what is the question in the government of india act 1919 the functions of the provincial government were divided into reserved and the transferred subjects am i students if you are not having the knowledge of indian council bill of 1919 at least some knowledge of diarchy then there is no use then you cannot even attempt this question but even if you have gone through the topic the indian council bill of 1919 and the nature of diarchy in provincial government the nature of diarchy but even after going through the topic you will not have all the data at the same time matlab aap kitna bhi usko pad lijiye sara data aapke dimag mein wahan nahi rahenge to sare data aapko nahi rahenge to how can you solve the question so it is on the basis of intellectual gaze ab you required to have the knowledge ki in province the diarchy was introduced earlier there was the division of power between the central government and the state government so the state government were having the definite subjects even these subjects were divided further between reserved subjects and transferred subjects on reserved subjects the governor had to take the decision with the support of nominated ministers and on the transferred subjects 
the governor had to you can say give his verdict with the support of and at the advice of the elected ministers so this was the division so obviously you can say ki as it was a colonial government so all the important subjects were placed under the category of reserved subjects so that ki the elected government of india should not enjoy too much power मतलब इसलिए उन्होंने जानबूझ के जितने भी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट्स थे उसको उन्होंने रखा रिजर्व सब्जेक्ट्स में और जो लेस इंपॉर्टेंट थे लेस इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट्स वे फॉलोइंग इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट सब्जेक्ट्स अब कीपिंग दिस डेटा इन योर माइंड यू कैन वेरी वेल ऑब्जर्व ऑन द क्वेश्चन एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल गेस यू कैन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन देखिए एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ जस्टिस टू लोकल सेल्फ गवर्नमेंट लैंड रेवेन्यू एंड पोलिश If you will observe the choice, you will find here that in fact, in the reserved subjects, they have normally selected three subjects. Three subjects, you know, one, two, and three, one, three, and four, two, three, and four, and one, two, and four. So it became almost clear. It became almost clear that three subjects were falling in the category of. reserved subjects ab you have to make an omission of a single one that is falling in transferred subjects so going through each and every subjects you have to find out which subject is less important which could have been placed in the category of transferred subject matlab ab aapko isko dekh kar ye pata karna hoga ki kaun sa subject sabse less important hai jisko transferred mein rakh sakte the to dekho one administration of justice no they can never devolve and transfer this subject to the to uh, an elected ministry or the indian government then local then land revenue no because it was the major source of revenue 52% of the british revenue was being collected through land revenue third police no no they can never transfer the police subject because it was associated deeply with the law and order situation local self government they could transfer because if in local self government was enjoying the very less power at the local level so obviously you can say 1 3 and 4 should have fallen into the category of reserved subjects so your answer is 1 3 and 4 c to am am mai aapko batana chahta hu ki ab itni baatein agar aap total uske provisions mein kon transferred the kon to kitni years bhi padhe jaye aise data nahi yaad rahte यूपीसी एग्जामिनेशन हॉल में स्टेट सर्विसेज का जब आप प्रिलिम्स का क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करते हो यही मैंने ऑप्शनल फार्मूला अपनाया था वो बेसिकली अंडरस्टैंडिंग और सेव रिस्पॉन्स आता है सो यू पीपुल हैव टू बी फैमिलियर विद दिस फार्मूला ऑन सेवेंथ ऑफ फेबरी आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द होल प्रोग्राम इन डिटेल्स and likewise you can see the second one question in the polity observe which one of the following statements best reflects the chief purpose of the constitution of a country ab a b c d you have to select one choice a it determines the objectives objective for the making of necessary laws b it enables the creation of a, that is in 2023 this question was it enables the creation of political offices and a government c it defines and limits the powers of the government and d it secures and uh, it secures social justice and social equality and social security ab dekho ye char ke char category hai all are correct but one is most appropriate so there is the main fight is between ki what is more correct so go through it and if you are having the constitutional clarity so you will go through a you will go through b you will come c it defines and limits the power of the government you will stop here yes yes it appears to be more appropriate it appears to be more appropriate and prelims ka ek khasiyat hoti hai ki first response mein jo aata hai wo correct answer hota hai usi tarah se you will find question in economy which one of the following is likely to be the most inflationary its effects a repayment of public debt b borrowing from the public to finance a budget deficit c borrowing from the banks to finance a budget deficit and d creation of new money to finance a budget deficit to so, all are correct but one is question is following is likely to be the most inflationary inflationary to sabhi hai lekin most inflationary kon hai 
तो आपको देखने से ही पता चले देखिए सिलेक्ट करिए यू विल ऑब्वियसली यू विल मूव टूवर्ड्स द डी तो दिस इज द टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन यूपीएससी यूपीएससी ऑलवेज क्रिएट सम वे देखिए हम टेन टू फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन मानकर चलता हूं दैट इज गोइंग टू बी मच डिफिकल्ट एंड दैट विल गिव अ मेजर चैलेंज टू अस बट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू लूज द एग्जामिनेशन ड्यू टू द फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी आर लूजिंग द एग्जामिनेशन ड्यू टू द फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन विच आर फॉलोइंग इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ करेक्ट यानी सॉल्विंग एंड नॉन सॉल्विंग and you can solve them we cannot solve them so if you are committing mistake there so that is the game changer and that is going to affect our future and result usi tarah se c set mein c set mein bhi certain formula hai which i have to discuss with you people previous years c set has created a very horrific experience among the students you know i was unfortunately i was at the center at that time and when i found the response of the students they were just coming from the examination hall just as the broken hearted as if they have lost everything so on that day it was quite tormenting for me ki hey sir if i can uh, reduce their pain anyhow to uski bhi kuch formula hai kuch category hai to maine is prelims ka jo program kar rakha hai to meri koshish hai my efforts my objective is कि एटलीस्ट योर परफॉर्मेंस शुड इंक्रीज बाय टेन क्वेश्चन इन ईच पार्ट इवन इवन टेन क्वेश्चन इज अ टारगेट इवन सेवन टू एट क्वेश्चन यू आर जस्ट गोइंग टू सिक्योर मोर ड्यू टू माय प्रोग्राम दैट इज जस्ट लाइक यू कैन से वेरी लेस आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेक द प्रॉपर चार्ज इट इज अ वेरी यू कैन से इवन ऑन कम ऑन द सेवेंथ एंड यू विल फाइंड एवरी इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट माई प्रोग्राम कि दैट इज वेरी meager amount it will involve and i will try to help the students as much as possible so on 7th i am just giving the suggestion you okay, go to go to my description and there you will find a link and you will just you can say click the link and get registered and it is essential for me so that i can keep the data and accordingly i can make arrangement for the accommodation That is essential information for me, ताकि मैं उतने लोगों का accommodation को निश्चित कर सकूँ Once again, I have never made a direct appeal to you people to make the link. मैंने आज तक पूरे lecture के दरमियान subscribe करिए यह भी मैंने कभी नहीं बोला है आपने महसूस किया होगा But it this 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 is the essential data and we we need it. So get to get to my uh, to the description of the video and then click the link. so that's my appeal so i'll see you on 7th of february thank you very much i'll see you again